two tornadoes touched down in New York City. Two tornadoes that touched down in New York City were confirmed Friday as parts of a brief but vicious fast moving storm that left a 14 mile path of destruction from Brooklyn to Queens, toppling thousands of trees, damaging dozens of homes, and killing a woman in a car who had just swapped seats with her husband. The National Weather Service late Friday confirmed one tornado touched down near Park Slope in Brooklyn and moved along the ground 75 yards wide for two miles. And a second touched down in Flushing, Queens and traveled along the ground for four miles with a 100 yard swath. City officials said the storm hopped across New York Harbor from Staten Island and barreled uninterrupted from Park Slope in Brooklyn all the way to the Bayside neighborhood in Queens. The city's Parks Commissioner estimated that as many as 2,000 or more of the 650,000 street trees had been killed or else so crippled that they would have to be cut down. The Commissioner said hundreds if not thousands of the two million trees in the parks were killed or damaged beyond hope. Hundreds and hundreds more lost limbs. Storms periodically battered the city's trees. Another freak storm in August of last year toppled some 500 trees in Central Park. The storm on Thursday left Manhattan and the Bronx virtually unscathed, but was merciless and the other boroughs. It's hard to compare to previous storms, the commissioner said, or actually to any storm, but given the brevity of the storm, the extent of the damage seems unparalleled. In other words, they've never seen nothing like this before. Not in New York City. And this was a very brief storm that was extremely destructive. The storm was part of a line that rippled across much of the Northeast before completing its run in New York City during the Thursday evening rush hour in a matter of minutes. It caught nearly everyone off guard, including commuters heading home and parents picking up children from after school activities. It snapped trees and scattered them like bowling pins, downing power lines and crushing vehicles. There are lots of stories of people who came very close to being hit by a big tree. But fortunately, there was only one, Mayor Michael Bloomberg said Friday. And that one was really tragic. 37,000 lost power. Stunned residents sifted through the debris Friday and utility crews worked to restore power in blacked out neighborhoods. The number of customers without power peaked at 37,000 but that gradually improved. Some 29,000 customers, mostly in Queens, had no power midday Friday. On a badly hit Brooklyn block of 1890s brownstones, the storm swept away parts of rooftops on at least six homes. One four-story row house was so waterlogged that walls were marked Friday with large black X's, meaning they had to be torn down. In the yard behind, debris lay piled up, including parts of the roof, a crushed gazebo, and a whole tree that landed there from two houses away. Department of Buildings Commissioner said the city had received more than 60 reports of buildings with possible structural damage. Officials had ordered residents out of some of the worst hit homes in Brooklyn. The City Parks Department said it was still assessing the tree damage and cautioned that cleanup would likely go on for days, if not weeks. The Parks Commissioner warned pedestrians to be careful walking under trees that might have broken branches. All over the city, witnesses compared stories of what they had seen. Street signs uprooted storefront windows blown out, huge thick tree trunks snapped in half, a parked van lifted a foot into the air, 
A huge tree limb, like 25 feet long, flew right up the street, up the hill, and stopped in the middle of the air, 50 feet up in this intersection, and started spinning, said Steve Carlyle, 54. It was like a poltergeist. Then all the garbage cans went up in the air, and the spinning tree hits one of them like it was a bat on a ball. The can was launched away, way over there, he said pointing at a building some 120 feet away where a metal garbage can lay flattened. Ruby Ellis was doing dishes when the storm wailed over her house and yanked on the roof. The wind was holding my ceiling up in the air. It was like a wave. It went up and fell back down, Ellis said. After the roof went up and all the rain came down and I had a flood. The line of storms began its work to the west. At least two tornadoes were confirmed in Ohio where storms flipped mobile homes, injured several people, and damaged part of an Ohio State University campus. Another small tornado also touched down in southern New Jersey, knocking over trees and damaging two houses. Eight twisters have hit New York City since 1950, National Weather Service said. The last was in July, a small one that whirled through the Bronx during a thunderstorm that left thousands without power. 2007, a tornado of winds as high as 135 miles per hour touched down in Staten Island in Brooklyn where it damaged homes and took the roof off a car dealership. But this one was different. It was extremely intense and extremely fast moving, surprising many people with the ferocity of the weather. In other words, climate change, whatever have you call it, is real, very real. And these events are increasing in frequency. And all these are more signs. Daniel chapter 2 verse 40 And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as so much as iron breaks in pieces and subdues all things. And as iron that breaks all these shall it break in pieces and bruise. 41 And whereas thou saw the feet and toes part of potter's clay and part of iron. The kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron, for as so much as thou saw the iron mixed with miry clay. 42. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. Again, so the kingdom or the nation should be partly strong and partly broken. 43. And whereas thou saw iron mixed with mighty clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. But they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. 44. And in the days of these leaders or kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms or nations, and it shall stand forever. And yes, there are many different signs happening, and intense weather events, or extreme weather. They, too, are also signs 